Hey everybody, and uh, thanks for joining us on this edition of Guru. Brew. Guru Brew. Hey, today's kind of a special show for us. It's the first day that we're going to be using our new green screen to show you a product that we picked up here. Uh, first, uh, yeah, take a look. This TV and um, the background behind me is actually green screen. So if you're seeing this and it looks pretty good, give us a thumbs up and uh, let us know you like it in the comments. We've been working really hard to bring you some good content. On with the show. Hey look, I've got a matching coffee cup that we picked up here. Got the Guru t-shirt, huh? Maybe in the future we'll be selling these. Uh, if you think you might like one, let us know. Um, today's project is uh, something I picked up at a discount store. It's called Puppy Tweets, and it's just a uh, little dog collar. Let's see if we can take a look at that there. It's a dog collar that will uh, post things to your Twitter account depending on how your dog is moving around and in, in the mode, the mood of the dog. I'm sorry. Uh, normally, I wouldn't buy these silly things. In fact, I don't really, uh, to be honest with really you, use Twitter that much, but. Uh, I do have our Twitter account for the Guru Brew, and uh, it was only $7.99, so I figured it'd be fun for the show, and it, it seemed different. So let's get started. Again, it's called Puppy Tweets. It uh, works with online Twitter. Uh, it says here on the box that the range is up to, um, let's see if we can see that there. The range is good uh, one to a uh, hundred feet. So evidently this has a USB style transmitter that hooks onto a computer and when your uh, dog moves about or doesn't move about there's a little marble in here or some kind of a, a sensor that detects motion and uh, it sends it to the uh, USB device which in turn um, goes out to Twitter so it should be real interesting I'll post the Twitter account in the comments below so that you can uh, check up on our dog. Our dog's name is Shadow. We'll bring her out here when we hook the collar on her here in a few minutes. Um, let's go ahead and open this box. It says it works on um, XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Uh, it needs a 1. Point, or, I'm sorry, 128 mega RAM and a 20 gig hard drive and a very small CPU. So um, let's get it in and open her up. Uh, like I said, I normally don't buy these kind of things, um, but I, I figured for eight bucks, it would be a lot of fun for us to play with. So, um, if you want your own, I don't know about the different cities, but uh, I bought this at a discount store called Ollie's, and Ollie's um, had a whole bunch of these. So, if, if it looks like something you might want, you check out Ollie's and see um, if they have any more. Okay, first glance here, looks pretty interesting. I, I see a, uh, a USB device. This one happens to be pink. They had blue and pink. We have a girl dog, her name's Shadow, so we've got her pink. Uh, I see a USB device. It looks like a light, an LED light on it and it has a small uh, antenna on it. There's a battery here. Looks like a button cell type battery. Um, it says do not install battery until prompted by the setup program. So evidently they don't want us putting that battery in just yet. And this is the actual tag here. Let's see if we can pop her out. It's kind of big. Uh, it's not real small. We have a big dog so it won't be a problem with our dog. Um, it has a clasp style hook on it that automatically closes, so it seems good. I don't know much about these. I Google it real fast, and evidently this was a project that didn't quite work out with the, the folks at uh, Puppy Tweets. I don't really know why it was a bomb or it didn't sell well or whatever. Uh, that's why Ollie's ended up with it, maybe just didn't take off. I'm not really sure what the original retail price was. 
Okay, there's a little note in here. Uh, it's just telling me to uh, unplug the USB dongle before um, resetting the puppy tweeter thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and read these directions real fast off camera, and I'm going to come back and I'll have my laptop up here, and uh, we'll go ahead and plug the dongle in and get it ready to go. And uh, so we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back. What I did off camera was I, I downloaded um, the program. I haven't installed it yet. I'm going to put it on this laptop for now. Um, one thing I did find out um, in this little pamphlet they give you with it, it tells you to go to puppytweets.com slash download and the link didn't work. So I went to the home page and eventually found out that you can get to it through the home page through a puppytweets.com setup HTML so it's a surprise to me to find out what happens next when I run this software here I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it I also learned that uh, Mattel is the manufacturer Mattel toys um, I'm just accepting the agreement now so that's kind of interesting uh, that Mattel put it out to be honest with you before uh, I found this in the store. I've never heard of this before. Never heard anybody talk about it, so it makes you wonder what happened and um, why it was discounted. Okay, so it's asking me to enter my Twitter account name. I'm going to use an, I can open a new account or I can uh, use an existing account. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with my uh, username, which is. Uh, for everybody to use. It's Guru Brew, G R. I'm sorry, G U R U, and then Brew. Show, S H O W, one word. And it's asking me to enter the my dog's name, which is Shadow. Okay, now it's asking me to put the USB dongle, they call this a dongle, um, into the USB port. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now I still haven't inserted the battery into the collar portion. They told me to wait on that. And so it's just sitting right here. Okay, the uh, computer recognized the device and the light did come on. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for next now. Okay, it's asking me to set up the tag. Um, I'm going to need a screwdriver. It asked me, it's pretty, so it's pretty nice. It shows me a picture of the um, back of the collar, the tag itself. And it's asking me to take the screws out with a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm just going to pull that off there. a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to pop this battery in there. And this battery was supplied. And it has this little catch. Once you put the battery in, you just swing the catch over like that. Hold it in. Now I did see a pop-up on the on the computer here um, that asked me to restart the computer and that's probably the XP talking. Although their software didn't tell me to, so I'm just going to continue on with their setup wizard and uh, maybe reset or restart in the end here. Sometimes you just have to budget what you think. I've noticed too that uh, there's a little hole right here in the front if you can see that. I really don't know what that's for. Who knows, maybe it's sound activated as well. But, uh, I'll just let show you that. I'm going to go for next. It said it looked for it and it says complete. Okay, it says Puppy Tweets has uh, successfully installed on the computer 
Uh, please replace the battery cover and attach the dog tag to your dog. Okay. Congratulations, you're now uh, ready to use it. Click done. Uh, and then it's just going to run in my system track. So I'm going to hit done. And I am going to go ahead and restart my computer. And um, I'll be back in just a minute. We're going to attach the dog tag to uh, Shadow, my dog. And um, we're going to log on to my Twitter account and see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're back once more. We've got the dongle, the Puppy Tweets dongle in the USB port. Everything looks good and connected. I do want to mention there was one little reset button in the battery compartment that I didn't press for five seconds. You have to hold it down for five seconds until it tells you to let go. And once I did that, it was fine. This is Shadow. This is the one that's going to be wearing the collar. Here's our collar here. It's pink. I'm just going to hook it on our, um, our existing collar here. And uh, that's what it looks like right there. So if you want to check the progress of Shadow and see what she's tweeting, uh, you can go to Guru Brew Show at our Twitter account and um, let her know that you're watching. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this show. I know it's a little strange show this time, but uh, I just thought it was a nerdy little item that you might enjoy too. So. Uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow on another edition of Guru. Take care. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.